quiet dog. <laughs> we are at my we are at my sister in law's and I'm gonna get a haircut. So and I have no idea what I'm doing. So we'll see what it looks like afterwards. So here's my new hair. It's so cute. I'm gonna enjoy playing with it and I think it'll be really nice for Vlogger Fair. It'll grow out a little bit more before Vlogger Fair, but usually my hair grows out pretty well. So I think it's cute. Now we're gonna go and try a new place for lunch because TJ's gonna abandon me. He's not gonna hang out with me because there's no boys, so I'm making him take me to a place that I've been wanting to try, but we don't think the kids will enjoy eating there. We're not sure if they'll have any food that they would like, so we're gonna try it out and see if it might be a new restaurant to try out. Trying pho or pho. I don't know. But I've tried it. Somebody made it for me once, and TJ, this is his first time trying it. Huh? Yes, it is. Are we gonna try it? We're gonna try it. <laughs> you don't want me to video you trying it, huh? <laughs> We're gonna try it. Okay. <laughs> tried the pho. I looked it up. It's pronounced pho. And it, I, I really liked it. I've had it before. I really enjoyed it. But poor TJ, he didn't like either thing that we got. The spring rolls had a lot of cilantro in them. He found that the, the cilantro tasted like soap to him. And he liked the concept of the pho, but he doesn't like ginger a lot. So, and basically the broth is a ginger broth. And so I might make it for us, but I'll have to change the recipe so that it doesn't include as much ginger in it, or any ginger. <laughs> a little would be okay, but it was a lot of ginger. Okay, so maybe just a little ginger instead of a lot of ginger. But um, I enjoyed it, and I have so many leftovers. I have so many leftovers. You gotta see this. This is this is mine, right? And then TJ <laughs> has all of that for me. I'm gonna be eating pho for the next probably I don't know. I'll probably be eating it for the like the next like three days. I can't eat a lot of it because of the rice noodles. They um, fill me up really fast. So this is more of a kind of treat meal for me because basically I only probably ate a third of what they gave us, and I'm so full. I'm really full. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try making refrigerator pickles. I'm a little nervous about this because I've seen, I've been looking at recipes and all of them were really different and none of them were exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to try making my own recipe just by looking at some of the proportions of what people were suggesting. And so this is going to be more of an experiment than a real recipe, but I'm hoping to let you know how they turn out in a few days. So we'll see. So basically I am going to use white vinegar, salt, some garlic, some dill, and cucumbers. So I just sliced up about three cucumbers, which gave me about six cups of slices. I also want to add a tablespoon of sugar. I wasn't wanting to add sugar, but I was reading a little bit that helps the crispness of them. So I'm just gonna add a little bit and see, see what it is. Cause like a tablespoon out of this many pickles isn't gonna be, that's not very much sugar at all. We are going to try this out and see how it is. You could add more garlic than this, but TJ's not a big garlic person and he's gonna be helping eat these. So I'm only putting two cloves in there. And the dill, I have so much dill now. I was like looking for a smaller thing, but they, this is all they sold was this huge thing. I'm gonna make one batch, tr see how they turn out. And then if these turn out pretty good, I'll check them out tomorrow then I'll probably make a second batch because they should last a few months as far as I've been reading. I'm getting started. So I don't have canning jars and so I got these just quick Ziploc containers because I have jars but I don't have lids for the jars. I'm starting to build this up. You need to add the garlic in here, the dill, and the cucumbers and I'm going to actually layer this a little bit more. And then over here I've got one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, two cups of vinegar, and three cups of water. People were either using an even water to vinegar ratio, or they had way more water to vinegar. So I'm gonna try this out and then bring it to a boil and see what it's like, and then we'll go from there. 
I'm done layering the, pic the cucumbers. So I put about four sprigs of dill in here and then I actually ended up putting three cloves of garlic in here. So I added a clove of garlic to every two cups of cucumbers. And so far this looks good. The recipes also were kind of back and forth on whether or not you should add the liquid hot or cooled. Because I'm using a plastic container, I'm going to let this bring to a boil and then I'm going to cool it and then I will add it to my container. It's now at a full boil so I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to just add it to our cucumbers and get them all in there really nice and good. Now some of the things I read was you don't have to worry about the pickle being completely covered as they will release their own juices so the liquid actually rise a little bit. So I'm not too concerned that there's some of them sticking out, but now I'm just going to seal it in our container and put it in the fridge. Now I've read that anywhere from like a couple hours to a few days, they'll be ready. So this will be a fun experiment. We'll see if they turn out. I'm excited to see how they turn out. I'm sure you are too. Hi guys, so it's the end of the night. I'm having a really late dinner. It's time to say goodnight. I'm gonna go and enjoy myself. Maybe enjoy a show, just kind of relax. I've picked up the house a little bit. It's been so quiet. It's almost, I don't know. Uh, I actually had to put music on, which I'm not a music person, and it's been very interesting. So I put music on, because it was really strange to have the house so quiet. I have to say though, tonight I'm thankful for the quiet. It's kind of been enjoyable. It's been really a learning experience of what it's going to be like this coming fall when Zarek starts going to school. It's been a little sad, but on the other hand, I think I'm enjoying having this little tidbit of what it's going to be like to kind of prepare myself. Please like my video and please subscribe to our channel. Good night.